everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be another bins haul video this is the third time I went to the bins um, I went to the bins in the city that my parents live in so that's like two hours away from me and then I went to the bins yesterday in my own city and this is the first time I've been to the ones in my own city and I wanted to kind of compare them the trip I had yesterday was definitely better than this one but I still found a lot of great things and I'm super excited about them so I checked out the shoes and the clothes separately because the shoes weigh more. I kind of wanted them not to bring up my cost of goods on the clothes because I take the total number. So I spent, I think I spent like $43 on all the clothes. So I took that number divided by the amount I bought and my average cost of goods came out to I think $1.10. And then for my shoes, I did the same thing. And my average cost of goods for the shoes came out to $2 and... 13, I don't know, $2 and change. So yeah, let's just get started. So I'm first gonna start with shoes and accessories. So the first pair of shoes I got is a brand I would never normally pick up, even at the bins, but they were in brand new condition, so I couldn't pass them up. And they are these Gianni Beanie platform heels. They look like this. They're just a really classic style, black patent leather, has the peep toe, the sling back. Yeah, they're just a really classic style, but if you look at the bottom of them, this kind of looks gross because the, they didn't take the label off and they walked with it on, but if you look at this, they look brand new condition, look fairly worn, and they are a size 10, but they're super cute. Even um, the comps on these, I knew they weren't going to be worth much, but I didn't realize how little they were worth. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Johnny, Gianni Beanie is the in-house um, Dillard's brand. I know they always have sales and if you have their credit card you get a lot of coupons so yeah they're really not worth that much but because of the condition I'm gonna price them just a little bit higher than everybody else's all right the next pair I got are these another pair of Gianni beanie shoes look like that and they're just super cute little Oxford shoes um, again they're in like brand new condition barely look worn but they're not from the same person because this is an eight and a half and those were a ten but yeah they look again brand new they just have the suede here, the patent leather, little lace-ups. I just think they're adorable. Um, so, yeah, if they're my size, I'd probably be keeping them. All right, the next pair of shoes I got are still banded together, but there's just these Steve Madden flats. They have this cute little metal squiggle. I definitely have to clean them up. The bottoms, you know, they, they've been worn. I mean, they're not, like, terribly worn, but they're a little worn. But I figure I could price them at about 20 bucks, get 15 for them. Alright, the next pair of shoes, I'm kind of thinking I should have thrown back, but I didn't. They are just these Banana Republic shoes. They're super cute, and I forgot the name of them. Are they the Aldra, Aldra, something like that? Um, but yeah, they're really cute. They're just have a lot of wear on them that I didn't really notice until I got home. A lot more wear than I would like. They're definitely, you know, worn, but the consoles are pretty high. People are selling them for like 40 to 60. I'm probably gonna price mine at 20 because of all the wear and just hope to get 15 for them. All right, and then the last accessory I got, I think that's it, one, two, three, four, five. No, I had six items in my accessories. Hmm. Oh, here is another one. Here's the other thing I was thinking of. Okay, so pair of Toms. They have a cute little bag. I got the bag actually in a separate bin. I picked up the Toms first, then I found the Tom's bag in another bin, and I was like, oh my god, I should totally get those because I can mail them in there and people would be happy. Okay, so there's just these silver satin open knit kind of, I don't know how to, like open woven, I don't know how to describe it. But there's just these Tom's, they're size five and a half, so they are a smaller size, and they are a women's five and a half, so I'm, I don't know. Hopefully, they're a good They'll sell fast. I hear Tom sell pretty well, but this size is a little bit of a harder size because it is really small. They do have some wear. I've never sold them before, but I've like read on Poshmark Facebook groups. Even if they have wear and you get them cheap enough, they're worth picking up. So I got those. Cute little bag. I could have sworn I had another pair of accessory shoes or something. And I guess we'll find it at the bottom. Okay, so the last item I have is this Rebecca Minkoff purse. This is called the Mini Affairs purse. It's just like tan, quilted with all these studs. Luckily, none of the studs are missing. It's in um decent condition. So these don't go for like a whole ton. Like maybe I could get, I would say 30 to 60 on these. 
but because mine has damage, they're probably going to be more in the um, $30 range. Well, first in the back, you can see this part's coming undone. I think there's a mark back here, like right here. And then on the front, it has a few scuff marks, but it's still a really cute purse and it's a really good brand, so I'm not really scared to sell it with the flaws because I know I can at least probably get 30 for it. It's just so cute. Um, when you open it up, you can tell there's some staining in there. This was in a bin that had been sitting out because they didn't really rotate the shoes and like purses too much, but um, this bin had been sitting out and I went through it. Another reseller went through it and then I went through it again and I found it. And I was like, was this here like the whole time? And I just picked it up because I thought it was cute. And I just like opened it up to see if there was a brand. I was like, Rebecca Makeup, hell yeah. So like I said, not in the best condition, but still pretty cute. All right, now we're getting into the clothes, but first I have two other accessories. All right, the first is just this Lululemon bag. It's just this cute, it's super lightweight, so really didn't cost much. It's just this cute, small, uh, shoppable bag, reusable bag. Um, I thought this would be cute because I'm selling a pair of Lululemon pants right now, so if someone purchases them, I'll fold them up in here and put this in the poly mailer. I thought that would just be a cute little bonus. And then I got a bigger one that I'm just gonna use for myself when I'm bin shopping. So there's that. Okay, now we're getting into the clothes. So the first item I got, I think I might try consignment. I don't know if they're gonna be a hard sell or not. Um, it's just these Theory shorts. They're Theory size zero. There's just these like plain khaki shorts. I could probably get more for them if I consignment them. Um, the only reason I'm a little concerned about these is because they are so small. Like, I can wear a size zero in some brands, like Banana Republic, I just got a pair of Hampton Fit pants from them, and I'm a size zero. These, I could not fit into, you know? So, yeah, they're pretty small, but hopefully somebody at the consignment store can fit into them. I could post them, but we'll see. All right, this next item I got, this one, um, I'll see if I keep it or not. It's a Banana Republic. Oh, by the way. The Goodwill near my parents' house writes on the labels. So you see how it says an eight there? That means they wanted $8 for this shirt. Um, that's crazy that they write on the labels, one, that they wanted $8 for this Banana Republic outlet shirt. So I don't really, wouldn't really pick up Banana Republic outlet, but I'm thinking about keeping it, so I just kind of got it anyway. But it's just this cute little work top. So we'll see. The next item I got is a Lane Bryant piece. Because I'm trying to add more plus size into my closet because I really love selling plus size clothes. I really want to have a wide range and an inclusive closet. So I got this to like incorporate more of that. But yesterday when I went to the bins, it was like torrid overload. Like it is so crazy. I ended up buying 15 torrid pieces. Like it was insane. Anyway, so yeah, I got this top. I wasn't, I was kind of debating on it because I wasn't sure if it was a little outdated looking. But I decided to pick it up anyway. It's just this really cute pattern on front and then has like the gathered and then like flared out sleeves. It's a size 18 to 20. And I think it'll be nice for like fall and winter. Okay, the next item I got is a brand I never heard of before, but I was hoping the style would carry it. It's just this cute little one piece that says hashtag squad on it. I don't know if that term is like out now or not, like if it's still cool or anything, but I thought it was trendy, and then it's by the brand California Waves. Um, I saw a couple of these listed. I'd probably get about 20 bucks for it, so I'm happy with that. The next pair of jeans I got, I really don't think I'm going to get much for these, but I kind of thought they might be a fast split because of the brand. They are Fashion Nova, size 9. But yeah, they're just these black jeans. And they have like a rip right here. They're cute. They're basic. I just thought like the brand's a very trendy and now brand that maybe it could be a fast flip. And because I get a lot of my inventory from the bins, I do have a 3 for 30 sale running in my closet. And these will definitely be in there. So they're just a great bundle piece. Okay, the next item I got are these Splendid Joggers. Size large. I thought I swore off the brand Splendid. But these were just too cute to pass up. They're just these chambray joggers. And after seeing these, I'm just like, I really need a pair of chambray joggers out. They're just such a cute style. Um, yeah, and the comps on these really did not seem too bad. I think because they're such a cute style that you're able to get a lot 
more for them because Splendid is an expensive brand, but it does not resell very well. Okay, the next item I got are a pair of Zara jeans. So they just look like this, and then they have the patch on the back. They're really just basic. Like, there's nothing special to them. They're just basic Zara jeans. Got a little sim at $20. Comps on them aren't that great. Got a Lucky Brand shirt. It's kind of basic. Lucky Brand doesn't really sell that well for me, but I kind of wanted to pick some of it up because I always, like, the base price of shirts in my Goodwill is, like, $4.29, but now if they saw something like Lucky Brand, they would mark it up to, like, probably $5.99. But, um, so whenever I picked up Lucky Brand in the past, I always had to price it higher to make a good return on investment. Now that I'm getting it so cheap, I don't really care, so I'm going to price it lower and see if that helps them sell faster. Alright, the next item I got is by the brand REI. Never heard of it before, but I actually got another REI item in the bins yesterday, and that's going to be a cool one, so watch out for that. Um, it's not clothes either, but it's just this like active wear a half zip pullover. Looks like it'll be pretty fitted. Um, and it is a size small. We'll see how this does. Probably get between 20 to 30 for it. Okay, the next item I got is another Lucky Brand top. It's a size medium, although it does not look like a medium. It's just this cute blue embroidered t-shirt. Super basic. I got this cute shirt, but I bought it for myself. It's a no-name brand. It's called Love Tree. I saw it's a really cute crop top. Okay, this next item I'm so excited about, it's unbranded, but I felt like the style could carry it. So this is just what it says, it's just plain, it says one size on it. But it's just this like, banana leaf, palm tree leaf kimono. So it looks like this, it's super long, very flowy. It's honestly, I wish I found this at the beginning of summer, but yeah, it's just really cool and pretty and I think this will do pretty well. All right, this next brand is not a brand I ever pick up, but I thought it was a really cute style. It's an L, it's a size XXL, so again, I thought that was a good size. But I just thought it was such a cute shirt. It's just this um, polka dot shirt with these cute little flowers all over it. Yeah, I just thought it was a really nice little work top or everyday top. You can wear it wherever. So. We'll see how that does. All right, the next item I got is by Diane von Furstenberg. And it's just this really cute um, khaki. It's just this tan dress, but the size tag has been cut out, the carrot tag has been cut out, so I really know nothing about it. I have no idea where to price it. I don't really know similar comps to it. I don't know what material it is, um, but it's just a cute little basic dress. All right, the next pair of jeans I got are White House Black Market. And if I'm not mistaken, they are the newer White House Black Market label. They're just these really cute jeans. And then this is my favorite part is the ankle has this really cute lace up detail. So my first bins haul, I got a pair of White House Black Market jeans. They're really cute and they have really pretty black floral embroidery on them. They sold really fast and they sold on Mercari for $36. So hopefully these unique White House Black Market jeans will do the same. So pretty excited to get those listed. Okay, the next item I got are just these airy joggers. They're so cute. They're just this navy knit joggers. They're a size XXL. Now these are not going to fetch me much money, but I just love Staring American Eagle. It's a really good bread and butter brand, especially their bottoms. Their tops don't do as well, but um, their bottoms do really well. Okay, the next item I got is an item I meant to throw back, but I didn't, which is fine because it's so lightweight, probably didn't affect much. But it's just this uh, basic Victoria's Secret top, and I meant to throw it back because it was so basic. But I threw it in my cart to see if I could find the bottoms to it, and then I kind of just forgot about it and it got buried down there. So, note to self, don't do that again. Okay, the next item I got are these men's chinos. Let me just try to close them up a little bit. Okay. They're the Banana Republic um, Gavin Chino, and they just look like this. Just like basic men's pants. I just want to see how these will sell. Just kind of experimenting with like new things now that I go to the bins. 
Okay, the next item I got, I am so excited out here. Let me wait. Look at both the pieces. Okay, I'm so excited about this. It is a two piece suit, and it is by Banana Republic. So, it is, this is the first, this is the jacket. It's just a pinstripe suit. It is called, where's the inside tag? Here it is. Okay, so it is the Banana Republic Modern Fit. It's a 40R. So, super excited about that. And then, I found the matching pants. And this looks like they're just these gray pinstripe pants. And here they are, Banana Republic Modern Fit. I think these should do pretty well. The comps on the two piece sets in this um, fit seem to do pretty well. So I'm really excited about that. All right, these next items, I might, I'm trying to put together a box for throw up. These might be going in it. They're just these Aeropostale high rise jeggings and I picked them up because they were new with tags. Just basic jeggings, a little destruction on the knee, cute light wash. All right, another American Eagle piece that I'm excited about. They're just these khaki chino pants. Basic, but will sell. Okay, the next item I got, so I never really pick up Calvin Klein to resell. I don't know if I've ever picked it up to resell. I know it's sold at like Marshalls and all of that, and it's not really like sought after or expensive brands, but I thought this jacket was so cute because it had the logo at the bottom. So yeah, it's just like a hoodie with the Calvin Klein bands at the bottom. Again, if it didn't have that band, I would not have picked it up. But this kind of stuff's like in style, like the logos and the name, name brands and stuff like that. So we'll see how it does. All right, the next item I got, I'm so excited. It's another Tord piece and now I'm gonna have so much Tord in my closet. It's like insane. Someone's gonna think I robbed a Tord store. Okay, but it looks like this. It says in Tord Insider Collection. It's a size one. This would have been perfect to find at the beginning of summer when festival season was beginning. But it's just this knit tank top with this super long fringe. It is so cool and unique and oh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I cannot wait to get that listed. I think someone's really gonna love it. This next item I probably should have left at the thrift store because they're pretty worn. But they're just these Athleta leggings. They look like this. But they have a lot of pilling on the back as you can see so I'll just disclose it and sell them kind of cheap, but yeah, just basic athleta leggings. The next item I got is a free people top, so it looks like that. Just this really cute snakeskin t-shirt. I'm like absolutely obsessed with it. It has some pilling on it, but I think that's just because of the kind of material it is. Alright, next I just got this Banana Republic skirt. Basic little gray skirt, nice workwear. Okay. Next, I got this junk food tee. Looks like this, and it says Evil Ken Evil on it. And then on the back, it says Houston Astrodome, 13 cars, January 8th, 1971. So, for any of those Evil Ken Evil fans, I feel like this is super cute. And like some girl could wear it like tied up with like super stressed shorts, and it would just look amazing. Okay, the next item I got are these express pants and they are the columnist pants. They are a size two. And I'm just trying to experiment with different workwear items and I feel like when these mall brands have names inside them, they might, like I just have this theory, they might sell better because going back to my example, I got the Banana Republic Hampton Fit pants. I know my fit that I like, I know the size that I am. It's really easy for me to go on Poshmark, look that up and like get things in my size and know it will fit without having to worry. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to experiment with that. But they are just, um, the pattern is like a red, navy, and gray pattern. So we'll see how those do. Okay, the next item I got is a Michael Kors top. Where is it? Oh, there's, there's the label. Now I wouldn't normally pick up Michael Kors. I picked it up only because it was plus size. Um, it's a 2X. And it's just like this paisley print blouse. It's funny, when I brought this home, my mom was like, is that a lily top? Because it's very bright patterned. All right, let me get the rest of the pieces up here. Okay, the next item I have is another free people item. It's just this really cute um, green distressed skirt. Basic. 
I'd love to tell you guys what I think I'm going to get for these items, but a lot of this is new to me. I've been reselling for a year now, but I'm like changing up my store because at first I was only kind of buying like freebie, anthropology, like stuff. I don't know. Like I'm like experimenting a lot more with a lot more mall brands now than I used to. So I'm not really sure how much I'm going to get for all this, but the next item I got is by this brand Bella Doll. I've never heard of it before, but the label looked kind of cool. So I decided to pick it up. Um, and it's just these chambray pants with the drawstring. They're cute and boho, so I thought they would be good. All right, the next item I got is a Banana Republic shirt. So it's just this, like, nice green top with, like, a gathered sleeve. And it is a size XL. All right, and then I have three more items left. So I have this White House Black Market Top. Um, it's one of the first things I picked up. I meant to throw it back, but it kind of got buried at the bottom of my cart and I forgot about it. But it's still a really cute top. It has this really pretty embroidery and then just kind of drapes down. I feel like I can still get good money for that because, well, not good money, but I feel like I can at least sell it because it's cute. Next item I got is a Weed of Free Top. It looks like this. I forgot the style name of it was, but people were selling it, like listing them at like $35. When you look at the solds, they're all about like 20 and under, so I think I'll list mine at like 25 because if people are listing them high and they're just selling low, there's no point in like just sitting on an item. But yeah, it's just a way to free top. Cute. And the last thing I got is this Michael Kors dust bag. So I mainly bought this in case I end up thrifting a Michael Kors purse or selling Michael Kors shoes. And it's again just a really nice touch to like throw this into a sale. So if I buy some shoes, I could throw it in here, even though it's like a handbag thing. I could throw the shoes in here and send it off. I could throw a purse in here and send it off. So yeah, it's just kind of a nice little touch to your sales. That is everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.